Hello everyone, I am Dr. Divya Sharma, a dermatologist with special interest in trichology, pediatric dermatology and cosmetology and I have been practicing in area of Brookfield, Whitefield for the past few years. My center is located in C block of AECS layout. What is frizzy hair? If you look at, at an ultra microscopic level, the cuticle of the hair is just like how you see tiles, overlapping tiles on the roof of a house. They are cemented together by a material known as 18 methyl eicosanoic acid. It's like a fat or a lipid that cements these tiles and this makes our hair hydrophobic when due to repeated washing, use of harsh shampoos, you know, vigorously drying the hair, hair straightening treatments, usage of chemical relaxers, it breaks the hydrophobic surface of the hair and it becomes hydrophilic or negatively charged, hence known as frizzy hair. So what shall we do to prevent our change of hair surface from hydrophobic to hydrophilic? One, you have to choose a mild shampoo by which I mean you need to use a parabens and sodium lauryl sulfate free shampoo. So sodium lauryl sulfate is not a harmful thing but it's a very very strong surfactant hence it makes your hair change from hydrophobic to hydrophilic. Number two, how do we apply the shampoo? You know unconventionally we tend to lather up the shampoo on the top of the hair. Shampoo should be put in little chunks, take it on your fingers and apply it all across the scalp in very small amounts. Especially when you use a SLS free shampoo, people tend to put more quantity of shampoo because they don't foam that nicely. So remember, higher the foaming capacity of a shampoo, harsher it is. So make sure, and do not even dilute with water. That's another myth that I come across that doctor, should I put it in water and apply? We don't want much shampoo on the hair. We want the scalp to be cleansed properly. So use a parabens SLS free shampoo all across the scalp rather than just heaping it up on the top of the head. Number two, always top up your shampoo with a good conditioner. What do I mean by a good conditioner? I will look for two ingredients if I want to label your conditioner as good. One, dimethicol. Two, there is something known as protein hydrolysate. It could be soy protein, it could be vegetable origin like soy protein or animal protein hydrolysate. Being an animal lover, I would always say opt for a shampoo which has you know, soy or a vegetable source of protein hydrolysate because they not only, you know, cement the cuticle together, they also replenish the layer of 18 MEA that I discussed before and strengthening the structure of your hair. Number four, keep all the straightening treatments and use of chemical relaxers at bay. But yes, if it's a party or an occasion where you feel that you need to do a blow drying, it should be done at a minimum gap of 15 centimeters Number five, it's also important for you to sometimes add oil to your daily regimen. So when I say oil application, I'm not talking of you applying oil on the scalp. It has to be used on the body of the hair, preferably before a head bath. And number six, last not the least, do protect your hair from the harmful effects of radiation, that is sunlight. As we encourage you to put a sunscreen on the face, we definitely encourage you to cover your head to keep your mane healthy, strong and super lucious.